All right, all right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's his true name. And Rakak, Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give, or we're also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach one of the scriptures. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, I'm with the brother at the Wabba right now. And, um, you know, we, um, you know, we linked up through the spirit, you know, and we were just, you know, you know, conversing before, you know, we started filming. And we were just talking about how, you know, brothers, you know, come from all different types of, you know, uh, basically uh, of lives. Okay. You know, they all have different paths. They all, you know, some brothers have family, some brothers don't, you know, some brothers, you know, they grew up, you know, uh, with money. Some brothers didn't. Some brothers grew up in the church. Other brothers didn't. You know, there's all these different factors, right? And the main thing is that we have to have that uh, that understanding, okay, of uh, 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 basically the understanding of um, of each other, okay. And um, you know, uh, can you actually start off with that scripture in that that First uh, Corinthians, Baba Kusha? Yeah, this is First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-two. To the weak, to the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. So exactly, okay. As you know, the apostle Paul said, you know, he basically um, he, he became like all men, okay. To the weak he was weak, to the strong he was strong. All right, and that's how we got to be. We have to have that you know, understanding, you know, of each other. You got to put yourself. In that brothers, you know, shoes, man, okay, to the best of your ability, all right? You know, brothers have different spirits, different lots. Uh, the brother, uh, the brother Dawaba mentioned this, you know, we have different, uh, was it, measures of faith, as the scriptures talk about? Because ultimately, we're what? We're different members of the body. If you can get that scripture, if you got another, uh, you got something to bring out, I can get that. Okay. Um, you know, get your precept. Yeah, I was And gonna I'm, I'm going to get that other one. But uh, the scriptures talk about how we're, you know, um... We're, we're basically all different members of the same body. And what body is that? Yahweh Shai's body. Okay? Look, you know, some brothers, all right, you got a brother that might be the head, brother that might be the eye, brother that might be the arm. Brother that might be the leg, man. Yeah. But we all mm -hmm. working toward the same goal, man. That's, That's right. salvation, doing his work, you know. And we all trying to sit up here and get that salvation. We're all trying to sit up here and get that, uh, hopefully be that, that hopeful elect, that one-third. Each one of us is fighting for that. But the thing is, brothers, we got to come to the understanding that sometimes all brothers don't have the same walk of life. We got to always keep that in mind no matter what we're doing. So, hey, this is Romans chapter 3. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, mm -hmm. but to think soberly according as Yahweh had dealt to every man the measure of faith. That's right. So every man has their own measure of faith, okay? And um, you don't want to get too high-minded, all right, in this truth. Because uh, what does the scripture say? Knowledge puffed up, all right? You know, and that and that can cause what? Pride. And what does it say? Um, uh, 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 pride cometh before destruction, you know? You don't want to have that prideful spirit on you. You always want to be, you know, lowly, meek, humble, okay? And you really want to, um, you know, when, when you're dealing with the brotherhood, you want to have that understanding, you know? Yeah, you, don't want, you don't want to offend, basically. That's a very scary thing. When you, this is how I see it. When I'm around brothers, okay, when I deal with brothers, you know, I, I walk on, you know, for lack of words, eggshells, okay? And the reason why is because I don't want to offend a particular brother because what does it say in the scriptures? If you offend one of these little ones, you know, it's better th that, that a millstone be yep. wrapped around your neck and be that's, cast into the sea. That's right. You, you know? know, we don't want to offend no brothers. And we, you know what? And the thing is, but as a brother, and I, I'll put it like this, and I'm going to say this and be honest. I'm a brother of age. I'm almost 50 by Esau's years. I'll be 50 in another couple, three months. And I've had a little bit more experience as far as my age is concerned. You know, but there's younger brothers who have way more experience in the Bible than I do. But as far as my age is concerned, I've just had way more experience and wisdom as far as being on the earth a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And I've grown to understand that there are certain things that brothers are going to be able to do that other brothers won't be able to do. Some brothers are married, got three kids. Some brothers have no kids and no, 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 are not married. Some brothers are free willing to do what they want. And to those brothers, 
maybe more grace and more faith was given to you to be able to do certain things. As to that other brother, he has to use the time and use his abilities to do what he can in the time that he's allotted due to the fact that, you know, life is a little different for him. And I'm trying to say that in so many words where it's not offensive or offending any brothers, but brothers got to come to the point that we got to be a little bit more understanding with brothers. And, and you know, and, and uh, to be quite honest, and there's a perfect there's, there's a perfect scripture for that. I just had it. It's a lot here, brothers. It's a little windy out Can here. Can I uh, say something while you find that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, that's why uh, this, uh, in the I, I forget in the gospel, I forget which gospel it is, but I think it's actually mentioned in two. But I know it's definitely mentioned in the book of Matthew, maybe Luke as well, or Mark. But it talks about that there's a parable of what uh, the t uh, uh, talent, right? You know, uh, you had, you know, one man get ten talents, another man get five, and another man get one, right? You know, that, you know, represents how certain brothers, they're going to get a, a bigger portion of the spirit, all right, than other brothers. And you got to remember that. You no, know, not every brother's gonna be that man with ten talents. Hey, some brothers might be that brother with only five. You know, maybe only one talent. Maybe their uh, a lot is to just do that one thing. But that one thing is very, very important. It's essential, okay, to the body. You gotta remember that. All right. Um, you got that precept? Yeah. This is uh First Peter chapter two verse seventeen. Honor all men. Mm. Love the brotherhood. Fear your power and honor the uh, under our honor honor the king. That's right. So the first thing I said was uh, honor all men. That's what you're supposed to do. Whoever, you know, um, is in this faith, you know, you got to honor them. All right. All right. You you, you can't look at them uh, lowly because they have a, 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 a certain lot, you know. You know, maybe they might not be the best speaker. You know, they, they might, um, uh, 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 you know, not dress, you know, uh, you know, uh, they might not have that, you know, a uh, glorious apparel, you know. Okay. You know, yeah, and there's going to be brothers that's not is. the best speakers, like he just said. They're going to be brothers who, you know what, you know, life is, you know, a little bit harder for them, man. They ain't going to look the, they ain't gonna look the, the, the look the part. They ain't going to have the greatest clothes. But here it is. They spirit, man, is going to mean everything. And that's what the hell of your father is judging anyway. That spirit, man, what you coming, what you bring to the table, what you coming with, you know. You're supposed to honor what it says. Uh, this First Peter uh, 2 and 17. Honor all men, love the brotherhood. And that's a commandment, man. That's basically a law. You're supposed to love the, the brotherhood. That's a commandment. That's Yahweh Shai's word. You're supposed to love the brotherhood no matter what's going on, no matter how things are going, man. Love the brotherhood. Uh, and if you see a brother that's not, that you, that, 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 uh, that, that, that's going astray or doing other things, yes, you're supposed to rebuke them. You're supposed to reprove them. You're supposed to sit up here and get up on, you know, right be now. on point with them. But you also got to have understanding, brothers, and balance. That's where balance come in. You know, you know the Heavenly Father said a, a, a false balance is an abomination to him. You got to have balance when it comes to this truth, man. You got to have balance with Dylan and brothers. Everything can't always be, you know, a, a hammer to the nail, man. You can't always be trying to hammer brothers, man. You got to sometimes come to the understanding. Now, that's not sitting up here saying if brothers getting out of pocket, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. That they supposed to not be touched or not be, I mean, that doesn't supposed to have anything said to them. But in the spirit, you know what brothers are doing. You supposed to be, we supposed to be able to discern the spirit also. And that's just a, and that's a big point, and that's a big major part in this truth many too. Discerning spirits, because if you discern the wrong spirit, if you sit up, that's just like when it comes to picking a group. Here it is. I, if I if I went to Sakari and didn't come to GMS at the time that I that I learned this truth, no telling where I'd be at. No telling what I'd be doing, but my spirit guided me toward GMS. You know, saying no, feeling that they were the best group out there, instead of going to Sakari or any other group out there. So that's another thing with discernment, brothers. You gotta sometimes look at the spirit and always understand that, man. You know what? You know what? I see that brother, you know, having this issue, having that issue, doing this, doing that. You know, let me see if I can help him out. And that's where loving your brother and honoring all men is it comes in. Huh. Uh, is there uh, more to that Romans or no? Because yes. I had that uh, that Corinthians to the first Corinthians. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead with that first yeah. Corinthians. We can come back to Romans. This is uh first Corinthians. I'm uh what is this uh twelve and um I'll just start at uh man this this whole chapter is uh heavy but I'll just get to the point at fourteen here. Um, this is uh first Corinthians twelve and um fourteen. And it reads, For the body is not one member, but many. And it says, If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, am, 
I not of the body? Is it therefore not of the body? And if there, if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, am I not of the body? Is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, what were the hearing? If the whole uh, were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath the Most High set members, every one of them in the body, as it hath pleased him. And that's uh, something to remember. Look, the Lord, um, he picked, you know, uh, uh, these men, okay? They were handpicked by the Heavenly Father, all right? And each, you know, particular, you know, a brother has his role in his lot, okay? They're, they're a particular member of the body. Hey, some brothers are the fingernail, you know, some brothers are the toe. Some brothers, like I said earlier, they're the head, so on and so forth. Hey, like, for instance, like an eyelash, some, it, that doesn't look... It's funny, like an eyelash doesn't seem significant, but it really is. Yeah. If you didn't have an eyelash, all of that that dust and dirt and all that, well, you know, go into your eyes, you know. But you know, uh, appearance-wise, it doesn't look important, you know. And that's how it is with certain brothers. They may not, you know, be um that uh, uh that man that's in the forefront, so to speak, that's on film that you see all the time. Hey, look, they may be doing things, you know, behind the scenes that's very important, man. Okay, got to remember that. Um, where am I? Uh, verse 19. And if there were all one member, what were the body? But now are they many members, yet but one body. You see? We're many members, but one body. All right? And that's why we have to have the understanding of uh, each other because we're all different. You know, like I said, baby, brothers, uh, they come from different walks of life. Brothers are different tribes. Okay? Brothers you know, definitely have different spirits. Yep. You know, some brothers are aggressive in their teachings. Some brothers are a little bit more calmer. Mm -hmm. Some brothers have a balance of how they do things. But each brother, and some brothers are comical with their teaching. I mean, we got a couple of brothers who actually really kind of like comical in how they how oh, they yeah. present things. Every brother has a different style, a different way of uh, of showing their faith, man, and showing their spirit. You know, and that's one thing that comes in this, man. If every brother was the same, man, some things might not be that good. Because, you know, with brothers having different spirits and different ways of, of presenting themselves, you got a brother who aggressive, where people are like an aggressive brother. You got yeah. brothers who are funny, that might attract a brother to come into the truth. Everything is for a reason. The Heavenly Father makes no mistakes, right. period. All brothers have their own way, their own way, and that's how it is. We all diverse, we all, it's all diverse, man. Each one of us has a, a different way of doing things, but that don't mean that we're not balanced. Uh, was you through reading that part? Or I was yeah, going to yeah, just yep. get this part in, in Romans real quick. And then this is Romans, you know, this is Romans chapter 12, verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. Mm. And that's another thing. Not all, all of us are not the same. Each one of us are going to have a different office. Each one of us is order. That's what it's all about, order. Point blank period. It's all about order in this truth. The Heavenly Father deals with order. Yeah. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai deals with order. Just like it's Yahweh, it's Yahweh Shai, it's the man, it's the woman, it's the children. It's the same way when you come into the truth. You got elders, you got apostles, you got bishops, you got deacons, you got teachers, you got disciples. It's order. So this is Romans 12 and 4. Again, for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Yahweh Shai and every one member one another. Here's, a, here's that point. Having then gifts different according to the grace that is given to us. Whether prophesied, let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. And that's the whole point, man. Each one of us has a different portion in this truth. Some brothers have a way larger portion than others. You know, and sometimes you and, 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 it's, and it's important to build up brothers who have a less portion. But still, that's the portion that they were given. And my whole point is, brothers, we gotta understand that. We gotta keep that in mind. If you're a true man of the Lord, if you walking in this truth, if you out there diligently, if you putting up videos, if you following the law, statutes, commandments, guess what? These things that you have to say and do, these are things that you have to keep in mind. Love the brotherhood and understand that every brother has a different portion of faith. Mm -hmm. And you got to keep that in mind, brothers. You yeah. got to keep that in mind. You have a different office. You just read that. And then in a different office. If the, I, meaning there's different jobs, man, you know? And when I say look, when I say that, like there, you know, you know, some brothers are speakers. Say some brothers, like I said, do things behind the scenes, which you know, uh, you don't, the, you know, you who who are listening don't know about. Only brothers in the camp know about. It. And some brothers, they might be like a driver, so to speak, you know. 
Yeah. Some brothers might have a. Uh, um, they might be uh, more financially uh, uh, sound uh, in other brothers. Yeah, 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 sound where it's like they help out. You know what I mean? It's just little things like that. You know. You need all that, brothers. You need all that. You need all that. Right. You need brothers who are speakers. You need brothers who are financially sound. You need brothers who can give brothers drives here and there. You need brothers that could do this or do that, man, because it helps the whole body for the for what cause? Yeah. The hastening the day of our coming and Lord come, hastening the day of the coming of our Lord and Savior, how about Shimmy I was shy. That's all we care about, that's all we give a damn about, that's all we think about. Twenty four seven of getting up out of here. And yeah. each and, and, and so brothers, you know, uh, you know, I'm just sitting up and saying, you know, hey, this is not to offend any brothers. This is not to get on any brother. This is just to help hope that brothers understand. Yeah, it's exhortation. That's all it is. Yes. It's, it's uh, exhortation. So, you know, it basically uh, helps because you, you, who, who knows who's listening? Maybe whoever's listening needed to hear this so then they can uh, uh, be a better brother, you know, at the end of the day. So they can, uh, uh, whoever they're amongst, you know. They could have a better relationship with you know uh, those uh, particular brothers, you know. Hey, I'm gonna say something too, man. I'm, I, I say this. I've said this before. You know, maybe some, maybe a month or so ago. I'm not the most social brother. There are brothers who ain't the most social. There are brothers who, <laughs> you know, <laughs> each brother is different, man. But we all strive toward the same thing, man. We all try to sort the same thing, brothers. And we just gotta keep that in mind. You know, so. You got anything else? No, that was pretty much it on that. Yeah. You know, uh, the. Well, you know, hey, you know what? I could hit this. This is Romans 12 and uh, 10. This was another part I was sitting up here uh, thinking about. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love mm. and honoring, preferring one another. And so that speaks for itself, man. Always be affectionate. Always be kind. You're always supposed to sit up here and have that love for your brother no matter what, man. No matter what. As long as that brother's in this truth and doing what he's supposed to do and doing the best to his ability, you always keep that love for him. You always keep those prayers going out for him. You always have that brother back. You know? Because it's important, man. It's important in this time right now anyway. It's very important. Time is coming up too fast and we all see it. You know, time is coming up too fast. It's already May, man. Mm -hmm. This year is already flying. You know? And we already sit up here and know what it says in Matthew 24. I want to say 31 or 30. You know, uh, he, 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 for the elect's sake, you know, I'm a speed time up. Should be, uh, yeah. Time should be short. Time should be short. Yep. So you see time is flying. So, you know, this is the whole point. So uh, anything else there? No, that's, that's pretty much it. And, uh, you know, we hope this was uh, edifying and, you know, just, uh, you know, honor all men and just still have that understanding, you know. And that's, you know, that's pretty much it. And with that, you know, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha, Double honors to the Apostle Nell, great millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom. Shalom.